Today I would like to share with you a practice blade that I recently got from, it's a casting that I got from uh, Wade Oliver Wilson, Master Engraver. My friend, your friend, and a friend of engravers everywhere. He has an excellent podcast called The Hand Engravers Podcast. If you haven't heard of it or you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. Some great guests, a lot of educational material, and it's really cool. He's a uh, he does a great job interviewing people and kind of getting their background and you can kind of learn how people come to hand engraving and uh, you know how the uh, masters really do it and Wade is definitely a true master. He has his own unique style and I've followed him for a few years now and he was one of the guys that really inspired me when I first began. His very unique scroll style, very classic but yet he has his own flair to it and has his own uh, his own particular kind of kind of vibe to his uh, scroll work that I really enjoy looking at. And he did this plate, um, I don't know, a month or so ago and offered it. Um, and I was lucky enough to get one. And it's been really cool to study because there's so many things here. I think he calls it his everything or all in one plate. Um, and it does, it has a little bit of everything from beautiful classic American style scroll to Bellino work, um, even lettering. But I really love studying this plate. Um, one of the things I really like about Wade's work is how diverse it is, how his design sensibility really comes through in, in all of his work. Um, he has a background in, in, in art, and he has been a lifelong artist, I believe, and done everything from pinstriping to computer graphics to hand engraving now, and that really shows in his work. Um, this area particularly is interesting to me because of the combination of his beautiful scroll style um, and his his beautiful you know, cross-tatch Bellino style work on the shield. It really gives it a nice contrast and the shield really pops out in, in person. It really gives it a cool three-dimensional look when you, when you can see this particular piece here. Very nice. And one of the cool things that I like are the details that he's actually engraved these shadow lines around the outside of the design to make it pop further out from the background. And then he's added these beautiful little tiny stars. Some of them are so small. You can see the tip of my, my uh, pen here, you know, and those, those, some of these stars are even smaller than that. Very beautiful, very beautiful work here. I love this bouquet. This bouquet is so classy. You can see perfect example of an engraved bouquet. Some Bellino style shading, it's so fine, so so minute, and how he uses this uh, this particular like lined background to really pop the the this the center uh, flower out from the rest of them and really create a background effect and a darkened effect around the outside. And I love how he uses these little these little flared ends here, almost like a, a wheat grass style on the outside to give it that little extra extra pop and little design element there. Very beautiful. One of the things I also like that I've looked at and I've studied and seen that he's recently been working on and doing a lot more, and it's down here in this particular scroll, is this little, I don't know what you call it, like a little cutback. You know, it comes back over and crosses the main element of the scroll and gives it a really cool look here in this little flare where it comes back, this little finger that sticks out. I really enjoy looking at that a lot and it really just adds, you know, motion and a little bit of a unique and distinct style to his work. One of the things that uh, he highlighted on this particular piece is his involvement with Shea, the Society of Hand Engraving Artists, which is a fairly new organization that I've been privileged to be involved with. And, um, you know, they're doing some really cool work. These guys are, have some really incredible master engravers involved. And they're trying to create a situation where, uh, you know, a place for engravers of all ilk to congregate and exchange information. Um, everybody from gun engravers to fine art engravers to jewelry engravers, um, a place where people can just exchange ideas and 
He has a really cool call. If you look on his Instagram, the Hand Engraving Podcast, uh, sometimes you can see on his Thursday night calls that are open, I believe, to the public for discussion. You can sit in on a Zoom call and ask questions and become a part of a group of people that are curious about hand engraving and are you know, readily and willing to share information with each other so that they can improve and advance the art of hand engraving. And I've seen that happen personally with a lot of people, including myself, being able to have access and ask some questions on Thursday nights to some of my favorite engravers and some good friends that I've made at this point. But you can see here, it's always advantageous, I think, for a beginning engraver and even for an experienced engraver to try to get the work of master engravers in your hands. There's so many things to look at and so many things to see in the advancement of Wade's work, even from a couple years ago, you can see how hard he's working and how much effort that he's putting into, you know, his design and his um, his ability just to convey sense of space and a sense of like flow in his work. It's really incredible. And I really enjoy his beautiful, beautiful scroll work. One of the things I want to highlight on this plate before, you know, before I uh, let it go is these Bellino style beautiful little elements that he's added in here. These, leaf, these leaves here, really cool. So there's, the more you look at this plate, the more you find. And I really enjoy this like tattoo style anchor, you know, this classic tattoo style anchor that you see a lot. And he's put that in there. It's just a really fun thing to look at. And under the microscope, this work really comes alive. And that's one of the things with practice plates. When you get your hands on the practice plate, you know, I recommend putting it under magnification to be able to see the cuts, to see the depth, to see how things are put together. Uh, it really helps a lot to study that and even to copy it. I'm not saying copy it to put it on a piece that you're going to sell. Um, I'm not sure that that'd be the right maneuver, but to copy it as far as practice goes. One of the things you can actually do is pull a design off of a master's practice plate, put it on one of your practice plates, and then go to it so that you get the feel of what they're thinking, what their ideas are, and how they approach the design and the elements in their scroll work and in their design work. And it kind of gets you an idea of like, you know, what, what goes through their mind when they're doing this and their creative process. To a certain extent, it really helps a lot to just be able to, um, to study as much as possible this type of work, high level work. So I really appreciate Wade for putting out this work and being able to share it with people and being able to share his knowledge and his, uh, his expertise and also inviting so many people uh, into the conversation every every uh, episode of his hand engraving podcast and also on Thursday nights with the calls that he began a couple years ago I think for you know engraver like me it's actually given me motivation to see you know not only experienced engravers and master engravers and be able to talk to them and ask them questions but also see new engravers come into the fold and ask questions that maybe I'd had and I haven't asked yet or ask questions that I hadn't thought about yet, that maybe sometimes you're having a, a problem with the design or a problem with technique or just something basic. And you, uh, somebody will come into the conversation and ask a question that really might solve a problem that you didn't even know that you were having exactly. But being able to um, participate in that, it's been a real pleasure and a real joy. And so I appreciate that from Wade a lot. And I recommend everyone check out his work and, uh, you know, patronize him because he is a, uh, a true master, a true master in the world of engraving. And I look forward to seeing all the things that he does in the future. Thank you for watching.